We're back today with Tim from Energy Guard outside a beautiful historical home. Tim, thanks for chatting with us. Well, thanks for having me. Of course, we love to talk to you. Now, question for you, outside of this beautiful home, um, for other folks who might own a historical home, what are some of the um, things that they need to consider if they want to update their home? You know, everyone wants to know what can we do to make our house more functional? Mm -hmm. What can we do to make it modern, but still have it be something that is the period? And the original style. So on the exterior you can choose from a number of different types of roofing, a number of different types of vinyl windows and vinyl siding that will all actually replicate exactly the style and the time period from before. In fact with some of our customers I've asked them to give me historical pictures so that we can and, and information on the actual colors they used so we can get exactly this, the style and the color of what the house was built with originally because that's what you want to end up with. And Tim, if I am one of these homeowners, how can I keep the integrity of my historical home intact while still making changes to it? There's two ways. One is you can, you can do it yourself, and the other is a number of the houses that I've done have been through the Kansas Historic Registry and also uh, the, uh, the National Historic Registry. So when you do those for either of those entities, you actually have to turn your plans in, get them approved by these historical bodies before you can get the permit to proceed on working on the house. So Tim, no pun intended, you have a history with historical homes. Do you feel then that you're a perfect resource for people looking to make these upgrades? Well, I've done a lot of historic homes over the years mm -hmm. and I really enjoy working on them. And I have had, I've done, I've done houses with both the Kansas Historic Registry and the National Historic Registry. And I have gotten phone calls from as far away as South Dakota and Texas, people asking advice or asking me to consult with them. So I like it a lot, I, can, I know that for sure. And also, what are some of the biggest issues and obstacles people are gonna face when they're trying to decide what to do to update their home? Inside and out, you really wanna keep everything looking as close to the original as possible, but you wanna bring in function and durability. So outside there are, there are roofing products, siding products, window products that do look exactly like the original, but they'll last forever and don't require any maintenance. And they're energy efficient. And on the inside, there are things that you can do on the inside to upgrade and update. For instance, I've worked on the steam radiators, taking out these great big boilers and putting these little bitty tiny boilers that just use a fraction of the energy but still provide the comfort and the original radiator style of heat. So a lot of things like that that you can do. And it's just fun. <laughs>